Hi, um, so for today's video, I thought we could do a proper introduction face to face. So this is me, Pauline from Pauline DIY Remodeling. Very nice to meet you all. And I'm about to start the actual build of my closet. And I thought this would be a really good time to walk you through my workshop and show you some of my favorite tools and, you know, the space that I work from. So welcome. Nice to see you. I use my garage as my workshop for now and sometimes the space is very confined but that's okay i mean i can make it work um for the projects that i'm doing right now it would be nice to have really big space but you know this works for now so i'll walk you through this is exactly what my workshop looks like right now it looks a little bit cluttered and that's just because we have some these are um, hardwood floors that are going into our house. We're doing some remodeling as well. But no, I'm not handling that big job. I'm not ready for that yet. So I'll walk you through some of the things I have. This right here is my very nice, um, very powerful uh, uh, vacuum cleaner. Uh, I use it for dust collection. For now, it works. I will have to get a little bit more sophisticated in my dust collection because woodworking gets very, very dusty. So this is a DeWalt and I'll be able to link all my products in the description under the video. So if you're interested in similar products, you know where to get them. So I like DeWalt and I really have grown into the Milwaukee brand as well. I try to keep with the same tool platform, mainly because batteries can be very expensive. And if you have a Milwaukee product, and you buy a Milwaukee drill or a sander, you can easily use the same battery. So they're interchangeable. So you'll see a lot of Milwaukee and actually maybe just one Milwaukee and mostly DeWalt. I'm growing my tool collection, but that's it, the direction I wanna go in. So this is my table saw. I really love this little table saw for the simple reason. Um, it has a very, um, a very precise way of measuring. You can see just by turning the knob, I'm able to dial down to very precise. Easy, I could easily go to the 1 16th or even 1 32nd of an inch if I want to, which is really precise. And just by getting, uh, you know, a nice um, blade that has a lot of teeth, I can get very, very fine cuts, especially for fine finishes on trim or even stuff that I edges will need to be seen. So I really like that. The true workhorse of this workshop of mine is this workbench right here. Her name is Chanel. That's what my kids like to call her. She was my very first project when I started getting into woodworking back in 2020 during the lockdown. Super proud of her. She's held up very well. She's got battle scars all over, but she's, she's a really good part of the team. So I really like her. Very sentimental. These boards I painted last night are going to be part of my closet build and they'll be part of another video, but I was just doing a bit of painting last night. Here I have my Bosch router. This baby here is very, very powerful. It's a plug-in tool. I use it to cut, um, channels for, like if I want to do cabinets and I want to put in LED strip lights or I want to put in another piece of wood, this is a very, very powerful machine. I love it. Um, it's very, very useful to me. I use it all the time. My trusty little sander from DeWalt has been with me for a very long time. Very powerful. Does a good job of dust collection, but I really need to get a more sophisticated way of handling dust in my shop. My two trusty... Um, drills i use them all the time I, it's nice to have more than one drill because especially if you're gonna use drill bit to do pilot holes or anything then it's painful having to interchange in between you know taking out a bit and putting in another one so i thought the best thing to do get another drill so that works out really well both of them battery driven love them for the portability easy to handle i take them along with me everywhere my latest uh Probably my best invent, uh, investment ever is this Festool truck saw. I love, love, love this saw. It's the easiest way for me to break down sheet goods because I buy my uh, plywood in eight foot by four feet sheets. And it's really hard to break it down because I don't have these huge cabinet saws that allow you to take up a, a board like that. And also they're really heavy to handle. So once I put them down on Chanel, this baby comes out and then I'm able to trim it down to size and I can get more precise on that uh, table saw right there. 
my nail gun uh is ryobi very first nail gun i ever owned uh it works really well but it's starting to age and so it's probably time for me to invest in something else still looking towards either getting the dewalt or getting the milwaukee so if you have any preference let me know in the comments what you like and maybe you know you might you might sway me over here is my mida saw this is a very nice tool to have and uh i use it to cut down like thinner strips of wood it normally can take maybe up to 13 inches width of a board nice to cut can do angles um can do you know any type of cuts you want but it's only limited by the width of the board very nice tool to have and then i have my pegboard this is my pseudo tool organization system for now made it one cold sunday afternoon it's worked well for me so far because i'm able to see where everything is in a quick flash and i can pick it up i've been trying to work on um you know making shop cabinets and so far i've only made four eventually i'll get to it again but this is what i have so far so these two i made sometime last year I still have to, you know, screw them to the walls and, you know, attach them properly. But right now they're shamed, they're level. And I use them for storing all my stuff, you know, quickly. It's probably a little bit disorganized. I can get better at this. But you can see all my tools are in there nice and clean away from the dust. So they work really well. And down there is my, I used to have a Ryobi router, which I burned out by, by using it too much. Uh, that's my router table over there very versatile because with a few tweaks i can put in another router so i should be able to do that at some point and all woodworkers have the same problem at least i do have this problem i'm really incapable of getting rid of wood pieces that i don't need everything looks so useful <laughs> you know like why am i keeping you know a piece of two by four you know it's nicely cut but you know it'll come in handy at some point um these are my tracks for my track saw so really long I can attach them to each other when i have really long sheets to cut and this is my other uh, pile of wood that you know i need to sort out but i mean who wouldn't want to keep a perfectly cut square piece of wood like this i mean it'll come in handy right so it's a keeper for now so at some point after therapy i will be able to you know narrow down that pile a lot this is my other uh shop cabinets also very nice to have because i keep a ton of things in here and these are much more organized i have my pocket hole um jig over there i have an extra filter for my uh shop back and of course i have a collection of paint samples and you know stuff that i just don't want to get rid of just yet so they fit in nicely over there and this cabinet is really good because it has a slow close hinges so really nice to keep the noise down and these are two of them that i made so this side has also got the same amount of things i have all my uh, um, cans of spray uh, some other you know like that's a another saw that I have that's my other jigsaw um, so I have a, a, a nice collection of small tools that I can use for any type of job I have so right now that works really well for me I still want to get more tools you know you can never have enough tools but you know it's a slow process this is my sustainer. Um, Festool sends their tools with this uh, type of storage system. They're called sustainers. They're really handy for keeping your tools clean and organizing them well. So it's really nice. I like it a lot. So, you know, more Festool tools to come soon. And that is the tour of my uh, workshop. And hopefully, you know, more exciting things will come from here. Thank you for joining this one too. Bye.